Hello, and thank you for joining us today. I'm Scott Shaughnessy, and I'm here with Kathy Soderman to look at a growing area of interest in human resources, which is data analytics. Kathy, can you define data analytics for us and how it applies in the world of HR, particularly in the context of international assignments? Sure, Scott, I'd love to. As you know, big data, data analytics are very prevalent terms in the marketplace right now. Basically, data analytics is the process of extracting information and identifying patterns in large quantities of data. It's finding the story, so to speak, behind these patterns, which can help you make informed decisions, have visibility to issues, mm -hmm. and visibility to operating performance and cost. Could you delve into this a bit further to help our viewers take this from the abstract or the concept to what this means practically? Well, a growing number of companies are really interested in this area and they're trying to figure out how to unlock the potential of the data that they already have on hand. Uh, this has to be done or should be done with suitable technology to do it and experienced people to assist you in mining this data for the insights that you are interested in garnering from this information. For global mobility professionals and HR uh, team members, it can really take their work to the next level to contribute to the organization in, in new and in different ways. Right. Before we explore the positive aspects of data analytics for the global mobility and HR areas, I was wondering if you can talk a little bit about the role managers have traditionally played and how that has evolved to the role and uh, performance, uh, to the role and function they perform today or can perform if given the right motivation, guidance, and tools. Well, it wasn't that long ago when global mobility uh, professionals were just uh, interested in identifying who their expatriates were and where they were located. Many organizations, and maybe even some today, are still using Excel spreadsheets to, to track this information. Um, and they may have not even had a policy to govern these moves. Um, while some global mobility still are tasked with primarily, you know, relocating the uh, the assignees and transferring household goods and, and organizing airline tickets. But, but today, global mobility professionals are seen as an integral part of an organization's talent management strategy, with business needs driving more assignments. You're absolutely right. Uh, they're charged with managing costs, um, how to uh, improve processes, uh, how to manage risk and compliance. They're tasked with answering questions. How do we engage our employees? How do we uh, select our employees better? How do we retain them? They are now requested to be strategic partners with the business on right. how to uh, more effectively use the employees that they have to make sure that business has the people in the right places at the right time. So coming back to the challenges of data analytics and how companies can harness the data they currently collect and furthermore, if possible, adjust their processes, information collection s to obtain more valuable, more useful data, what has to take place? Well, the first step is you need to engage your stakeholders. You need to identify what are the key performance indicators that you want to track. What are the performance mm -hmm. measurements that are going to be of value to the organization? Then how are you going to use this information on a go-forward basis? Um, the next step is identify the systems that have this information to, to mine it from. Or you may, if you don't have those systems, you may need to make some technology investments. You need to then implement the processes accurately and have a means to react timely to the insights that you've obtained from all this data analysis. Um, one way that organizations could probably uh, put into effect immediately is leveraging their HR information systems that they probably already have on hand. As you know, it has your employee hire dates, your mm -hmm. employment termination dates. Companies are already measuring retention and, and um, attrition uh, today, um, but what you can do is take it another step further. When you apply it to international assignments and you look at people who have gone on assignment and those who have not, you can then evaluate, is it accelerating somebody's career uh, in the organization by having been on an assignment, or is it increasing their retention, both which would be positive for an organization. Right. So let me see if I can uh, summarize this for my own benefit, if not for the benefit of the viewers. Engage stakeholders. Identify systems that contain and yield valuable information. Examine and discern the patterns, the trends, the story, so to speak, and then problem solve. Yes, you're absolutely right. It's interesting. I can really see how data analytics can be helpful to HR and global mobility professionals and the companies they serve. 
Yeah, and many companies today are really interested in this area, and they are trying to get their arms around what technology they have to, to do this work today. We, some companies we're currently working with, we recently worked with a financial services organization. Their mobility team was tasked by their leadership to identify some cost savings in their program. They reached out to KPMG for assistance. Uh, we reviewed their, their total assignee um, costs for them. We looked at their global mobility policy. We benchmarked their policy against what other companies in their industry had reported in our global assignment policies and practices survey. We noticed that some of their costs were a little higher than industry average in some areas and were able to provide them some recommendations for cost savings. That organization, that company, uh, then went back to their executive committee, identified the recommendations that they wanted to implement, uh, implemented it over a six month period uh, is with a, a, a sophisticated communication strategy uh, to all everyone in their organization, and they achieved a mi $1 million in savings in the first year. Wow, that, that's impressive. Well, it's quite clear the advantages that proper data analytics can bring. Useful data that reveal a pattern, help tell a story, effective problem solving can lead to better management and, and even to cost savings. Wow. Um, well. Thanks for sharing that example with us. And, and also, Kathy, thanks for being here with us today to share your insights. Thank you, Scott. It was a pleasure. And thanks for being with us today. So, are you leaving that?